Hello everyone, I am Jade Ulrich, a clinical dietitian here at KSB Hospital, and thank you for tuning in for this nutrition presentation on Crock-Pot meals. So what is a Crock-Pot? A Crock-Pot is or also called a slow cooker, and it is a, an electric cooking pot with a lid that cooks food slowly at a steady low temperature over several hours. Crock pots can come in a variety of sizes depending on your needs, such as family size, if you want leftovers, or if you are cooking for a large group or a party. And crock pots can also be found at many stores such as Walmart, Kohl's, Target, Menards, Farm and Fleet, and many other stores, as well as also online. So there are two types of crock pots, manual and programmable. So here is an example of a manual crock pot. With manual crock pots, you will need to manually turn the dial off when it is done cooking, or if you want to keep the food warm after it's done cooking, you will need to also manually turn the dial to the warm or keep warm setting, as you can see in this picture. And here is an example of a programmable crock pot. These have a timer which allows you to set a cooking timer which will automatically switch to that warm or keep warm setting once it is done cooking. This feature is especially great for those who set the crock pot to cook while you are away from the house or are very busy so that your food doesn't overcook. And there are many benefits to cooking with crock pots. First is that they are very easy and simple to use and usually require just one step for preparation, typically just chopping up any food that needs chopping and placing it in the pot. And it's also great for those with busy schedules and can save you time because crock pot recipes typically don't require any extra work once the food is placed into the pot besides stirring or checking for doneness. They basically do the cooking for you. Crock-Pot meals can also help eliminate the temptation to get fast food or takeout, again, because of how easy they are to use and require a minimal prep time. And eating out less can save you money and allow for more nutritious meals at home. Cooking with Crock-Pots can tenderize tough meats because of the long cooking times and low temperature and can also keep meat moist. Crock-Pots also use less electricity than standard electric ovens and also won't heat up your kitchen as much as ovens do. Crock-Pots can make meal cleanup much quicker and easier um, since you don't have to have all those extra pots and pans and other cooking equipment to clean up. Lastly, Crock-Pots can cook a wide variety of foods and meals including soups, stews, meats, side dishes, mixed dishes, and casseroles. So overall, crock pots are very convenient to use. Here are some general tips when using crock pots. It can be very helpful to prep ingredients up to three days in advance, such as chopping vegetables, soaking dry beans, and trimming meats, and place these ingredients in an air kit container until you are ready to use the crock pot. And you'll also want to choose the correct size crock pot, either a three and a half to four quart sized crock pot is best if you'll be cooking for four or less people. And either a five to seven quart size or larger crock pot is best if you'll be cooking for five or more people or if you want leftovers. And then you know, as you see a picture here on the screen, I'll explain that on the next slide. So here are a few safety tips to keep in mind when cooking with crock pots. It's important to start with a clean space. You want to make sure the crock pot Cooking utensils and your work area are clean before cooking. And always wash your hands before cooking. And then going back to this picture, you'll see that if you prep your meat and vegetables beforehand, it's important to prep them separately and also store them separately in your fridge to avoid cross-contamination. You'll also want to keep perishable foods refrigerated until it is time to add them to the pot. You always want to thaw frozen meat and poultry in the refrigerator before cooking to ensure it cooks all the way through to the safe internal temperature. You should never thaw or defrost at room temperature. Next, you'll want to fill the crock pot no less than half full and no more than two thirds full to ensure that your food cooks thoroughly. You also want to keep the lid on during cooking. Removing the lid slows cooking time. You only want to remove the lid to stir the food or check for doneness, or as otherwise specified in your recipe. 
you also should use a food thermometer. The only way to be sure that your food is safe to eat is with the food thermometer to check that the food has reached the proper internal temperature. And lastly, you'll want to store your leftovers in a shallow container and refrigerate them within two hours after removing from the pot. So here are a few websites with crockpot recipes from the American Heart Association and also my plate. I have also included three recipes which will be linked in the description of this video, including vegetable turkey soup, chicken tacos, and chunky beef chili with sweet potatoes. And also, if you remember from my last presentation and healthy eating for the holidays, I included some healthy food substitutions, such as switching out white rice for brown rice, or switching out ground beef for ground turkey, ground chicken, or extra lean ground beef, as well as several other examples. So you should keep these in mind when cooking with crock pots as an easy way to make recipes a little bit healthier. So thank you so much for joining me for this presentation on crock pot meals. I hope you learned a little bit more about what crock pots are, how to use them, safety tips to keep in mind when using crock pots, and be sure to check out the recipes in the description of this video. Thank you and have a good night.